Hey everybody, I'm Gus. And I'm Sarah. I have my lovely girlfriend here to help me. That's me. Sarah, today we're playing Sniper Elite 5. Uh, we're gonna get two achievements, uh, one called Road Rage, and the other one is called... Uh, Die Nuss Snacker Sweet, which I don't know what that means. Both worth 15 gamer score. Mm -hmm. um, the Nuss Snacker Suite, you can actually get on any level, uh, but Road Rage you have to get on level 7 during Secret Weapons, uh, but... We're going to get both of them because we're machines of efficiency, Sarah. We are. I recommend getting a sniper rifle with probably like eight times magnification, uh, which is most of the scopes. Uh, but just to uh, give you a quick tip. Also, we're going to play this on cadet difficulty. Love um, a quick tip. It won't <laughs> It won't ruin your relationship with your girlfriend. <laughs> um, so this is where uh, the level starts. This is as soon as you drop in. Uh, for Road Rage, we need to destroy six different types of vehicles on this level. Uh, the first being a motorcycle. Uh, a motorcycle always spawns right here. This uh, big dumb idiot always shows up right here on this motorcycle. That does seem dumb. Uh, what you want to do is equip armor piercing rounds, uh, which is also something you should get at the beginning of the level. Um, and uh, you should just uh, shoot the gas tank. And uh, you can just shoot it twice with normal bullets. Not really a, a problem. And uh, you get the motorcycle out of the way. So from the motorcycle, uh, we're going to go up and to the left just a little bit, and you'll come to this castle area. Uh, so this is where we were, and we just walked a few feet up the road to this castle. Do we get to go in the castle? Uh, you can if you want to. I want to uh, go in For the now, castle. we're going to stand just outside the castle, uh, just past uh -huh. south of the bridge from this guy, who conveniently is just over 100 meters away. And what you want to do is aim for, like, it's a little higher than you think. You can see I shot him in like the lower stomach and it, I didn't get a testicle shot. And I thought about restarting, but then this guy showed up and I shot him through the testicles at 100 wow. meters away through the hip. Are we going to see testicles? You are. Wow. Not only that, you're going to see him explode. Wow, exploding uh, testicles. So this achievement is for getting a testicle shot uh, from 100 meters away. I believe it does have to enter x-ray mode for it to count. Uh, I do a little celebratory dance there. Um, and you will unlock uh, Die Nuss Knacker Suite for 15 gamer score. Congrats. Um, so uh, we're going to stay right here. Uh, you're going to walk up to the castle, and there are three vehicles right here. Um, they'll always show up. You might need to wait just a little bit for them to show up. Uh, but if you throw uh, a grenade uh, at the middle, it'll blow up the truck and the kind of like, uh, gosh, I don't know what that is. What, Sarah, what kind of car is that? Um, that's, uh, that's, uh, a, a, a big car. <laughs> It'll blow up the big car and the big truck. Big car go boom. And then there's, <laughs> there's like a tank just before it, and grenades can't hurt it. What you can do is, uh, shoot a little, like, uh, I guess it's like a gas cap in the, uh, back left-hand side. What you want to do is equip armor piercing rounds, which I'm about to do here. Uh, you can destroy it with normal bullets, but it takes a really long time. Uh, so just equip some armor piercing bullets, shoot that little flap in the back, and uh, since we're on cadet difficulty, we can just soak up damage like crazy. Alright, so that is, oh yeah, also the achievement popped for me here, but I've played this level a couple times. Your achievement will not pop here if this is your first time. Uh, so wow, just, what kind of guide is just this? Just a word of warning, but yeah, it's a good guide because mm -hmm. it shows you that these mm -hmm. vehicles do in fact count. Mm -hmm. Alright, so from the castle, we're going to go north, uh, just follow the road, it's very simple. Um, and we are going to come across this body of water. And in this body of water, there's a U-boat. Sarah, what's a U and U-boat stand for? Um, it, it just stands for um, uh, urn. Anyways, <laughs> like to shoot, big base. there's four gas canisters <laughs> in the back of the ship. Uh, on higher difficulties, I think you need to destroy all of them. But on cadet difficulty, you only need to destroy two of them. Uh, but they do have like a protective thing around them, so you got to shoot them twice for it to count. Um, and then I uh, just, uh, yeah, it'll blow up, it'll sink, you'll get a vehicle destroyed notification, and then wow. we are on to the last vehicle. Okay. Progress. So, from where we were, we're just going to go down the hill and cross a bridge. You can see this is where we destroyed the U-boat, this is where we destroyed the three other vehicles and got the testicle shot, and this is where we destroyed the, uh, the motorcycle. So, it's a very simple route. Mm -hmm. um, what you want to do is uh, stick to the right-hand side once you cross the bridge. And everything we need to destroy the final vehicle, which is a tank, is uh, in this little pillbox right here. Uh, there's two German soldiers. Watch me take them out with one bullet. That was pretty cool. Um, pick this lock, and there's a satchel charge and a bazooka, a panzerwurst in mm. here. Just go ahead and say it. Panzerwurst. It feels pretty good to it say. It does feel it? good. Yeah. That's a good Roll, word. Rolls off the tongue. Panzerwurst. Uh, you can pick up the other stuff in here, but you don't really need it. 
Um, and then we're just gonna keep following the path. And then once you come down this hill uh, on the other side of the rock, you can uh, you can see a tank. And uh, you can try and sneak up on the tank, but there's a guy in the uh, machine gun tower who like usually sees you. So actually, if you just shoot that guy, the tank will drive forward out of the little like, uh, uh, gosh, what, what is that? This like sandbag area. Mm -hmm. And uh, it makes it much easier to put a satchel charge in the back of the tank. Uh, but as we all know, tanks are strong, and uh, a satchel's not enough, so you also it's have not. to hit it with the Panzer burst. Sarah, if you were uh, if you were gonna blow up a tank, how'd you do it? How'd you go about it? I mean, I would just like get to know the person inside the tank mm -hmm. and emotionally destroy yeah, them. Yeah, and emotionally right. destroy. Yeah. Them. No, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think we tried that during from World the War, inside so. out. You right. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of guards around here. They'll probably see you, and the tank will probably also see you. But if you're on cadet difficulty, it's not a problem. So those are the six vehicles you have to destroy, and uh, the man you have to shoot in the testicles. Uh, I hope this guide <laughs> was uh, helpful. Uh, Sarah, what did you learn? I learned a lot. But the, you know what I learned primarily is that Gus and Right Bumper, they know their video game stuff, and they make lots of videos, and, and they also stream on Twitch. And that you should engage with their content because they work hard. Uh, I, I didn't even have to tell her to do no, that. No, I... Wow, that was actually yeah. very impressive. All right. Well, um, uh, we stream on Twitch and we make video guides on YouTube. And... Um, we love you. And we love you. <laughs>